If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hey, Larry here, and welcome to Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Today I want to do a, a, a brand new review on a brand new pen. Uh, the pen is the Conklin All-American, the Turquoise Serenity. Uh, so, let's take a look at the pen case, tell you a little bit about the pen case, then we'll talk about the pen, give a little history about it, do some pin comparison, then I'll do a writing sample. So here is the box that the Conklin fountain pins comes in. The standard pin case, which I, I like. I'm a pin case guy, and it's a regular cardboard sleeve on the outside. And uh, then you open it up, and it has a nice looking pin case, leather type pin case with the white stitching around the front of it and cockling very nicely done on front of the pin case nothing on the bottom but continues with the beautiful white stitching what well, I do find that in, that I like that a lot on this pin case nothing in the back so we'll open it up voila okay now we'll open the box up and voila there's no pin it's gone well I've already had to ink it up and give it a test run so I can give you my review on the pen but on the back of the pen case you see again Cochran really nicely done and it's got a, a nice soft touch to it it lays in this nice beautiful bed to protect it and it comes with a card and you're going to get this in all your Cochran pens warranty card instructions and uh It'll tell you about your pen, and this is very important, I think. Uh, if you have any problems with your fountain pen, uh, you want to make sure you get a hold of uh, Cochran because uh, they will help you uh, correct the problem, whatever's wrong with your fountain pen. So that's always important. So let's remove the bed, and it comes with two cartridges. One is a blue and one is a black. And they look like standard uh, inter international cartridges. So we'll put that aside. And I always save my pen cases because I never know when I'm going to sell a pen, trade a pen, give a pen away. And I like to try to keep that original box that the pen came in. So we'll set that aside. Now, we're going to talk about this beautiful fountain pen that has come in and we'll just turn it around voila magnificent is it not beautiful stunning fountain pen what would you this was what at least I would expect from Cochrane nothing but the best from Cochrane so a little bit about this pen it's an oversized, <coughs> excuse me, it's an oversized but comfortable fountain pen that's not going to be too hard or uncomfortable to write with. And I can say that's true because I've been <coughs> using this pen for a while now, writing many letters with it and never had a problem with it. <coughs> now the Yaffa has offered a German made number six Jobo still nib again Yaffa has now offered a German made number six Jobo nib yep high grade European resin big but not so big there as to be uncomfortable 
in your hand, especially with long writing sessions, which I do. I can spend hours writing letters, and I don't like a pen that's going to be uncomfortable when I'm writing a letter. So let's start with the dimensions of the pen, and then I'll work my way into the pen. Beautiful turquoise, beautiful resin. Look at that beautiful pen. The length overall capped is 5.7 inches. Post it. And it does post securely. And you seem to be shaking it. And there it is posted. And there it is. A little maybe top baby for the pen, but maybe not. Look at that. You use your own judgment. I think that's pretty even there, don't you, Mr. Announcer? Oh, yes. Yep. So, that's pretty well balanced, in my opinion. Beautiful finish. It's got the uh, that famous Conklin rocker for the clip with Conklin on the clip. Beautiful cigar shape. Again posted 6.6 .6 inches. Now the overall body weight of the pen is 31 G's. The cap weighs in about 13 G's and then the, ba the body barrel weight 18 G's. So how much ink does this pen really hold? Well, I've checked it out. About 1.4 mils. Maybe 1.3, give and take. But the cartridge holds a, a, a little more, 1.67 mils. So, cartridge or converter. So, let's just unscrew the cap. This pen is amazing. Beautiful. As we go down the barrel, there's not really a step off it. What you're going to run to is where the cap screws on to the barrel. And then to the grip section. Now, it's not a very large grip section. But, I have small fingers, so it works well for me. Now, if you have big fingers, you're probably going to hold it here. Or some people tend to hold their pen higher up. And I've written letters in all three positions here, here, and here. And it, it was fine for me. But like I said, everybody's different. You have different opinions. That's just mine. But right about here would be a great place to hold your pen. Uh, and on the nib, you're going to have your Conklin logo with Toledo USA. So, Yonfo has done a great job keeping this pen alive. They pay it pays tribute to its roots. Like I said, with a Toledo, Ohio on the nib and on the barrel. If you can see that, let's see if we can get a good close up here. It's right in here. Put the light on right there. I don't know, can you see it? Uh, rotate it this way a bit. Uh, take the light off. Uh, put the light halfway on. Sort of, yeah. Let's see if it'll help any better, Nick, because it's right in here. Let's unscrew this section out. Let's try this. Mm. Not really. Let me try that. Ah, oh, how about like that? Nothing there? 
uh, you can well you can see where it is just can't read it really well but it's right there trust me so anyway you can hold a lot up to it and look at that isn't that beautiful beautiful they really did a great job in this pen and I've already got the pen inked up and let's just unscrew this converter because this is important you don't want to pull the converter out this has where it screws in so remember that on the Conklin fountain pen don't try to pull it out please next question is eyedropper nope you can't do that why you got metal right there so that you don't want to do so they've done really a really fine job on this fountain pen they like I said, they even did a step up when they offered the the new number six Jovo nibs on it. I love it. the The pen looks great, feels great in the hand. Amazing looking colors, beautiful, rich, beautiful turquoise that just pop. This pen screams Conklin All American. So. Yaffa rescued them and kept this brand alive. Conklin was established back in 1898 and it was regarded as one of the most significant, significant yeah, and innovative manufacturers of all times today known as the golden era of fountain pen because it was the fountain pen back then during the 30s just at the dawn of the depression Conklin launched a collection that was priced more affordably they were going into the general public that was going to be more affordable for them the All-American Collection, they come up to offer a variety of sizes, filling mechanisms, and finishes. And here's one right here of the newer looks that Yaffa come up with. And it, they, were, they wanted to try to satisfy the growing market demands for good quality. Not quantity, but quality. But, al but also for affordable prices for a good writing instrument. And that's where you have today, they pay homage to the classic design of the vintage Conklin era. Yawfall purchased and revived the Conklin brand back in 2009. So thank goodness for Yafal to keep this magnificent fountain pen alive today and I'm happy that they continue to come with different new models, new colors. They just explode. The collection brings a vibrant and a contemporary style to the classic, oversized, streamlined design, the Conklin All-American. It would be a shame to lose this fountain pen, to let it die out. It's a desirable, wonderful, affordable, well-liked, well-respected fountain pen, in my opinion. There's just a lot of work, a lot of thinking went on to putting this pen together because 
I believe that Yafa wants to create new energy in their pens with excitement that is going to work for people meaning while you're writing you're going to have a comfortable writing instrument but also you're going to have this really great looking fountain pen and to me it's all about the nib Bam, right there. Beautiful, right? And you can pick one up right here. So now, let's do some pin comparisons. And we'll just do a... Here's a Schneider. Here's a Monteverdi Impressa. and just the of course the Conklin has way more girth to it but about about the same length close to it now the most important part is the nib that's the total soul of a fountain pen let's get some writing done and let's see how this little jewel writes. This is a fine nib. And this is the turquoise. And I'll be right back. And the ink I'll be using is Ugers. Really a really nice nib on this pen. Get a hold of Frank. These pens won't last. And let's do some writing. And let's get some swirls going on here. Good ink flow. No problems with ink flow whatsoever. And do a little wet test here. And it does lay down the ink very nicely. A smooth, wet nib. No problems with the nib. I've been using it for over a week now religiously every day and not one problem with this pen not a one this pen met my expectations and more so one more thing before I go reverse writing and it will deliver There you go. So here's the reverse. And here's regular. Totally different line variation. So the pin does deliver. The pin will speak for itself. I don't need to do anything else but show you the pin. Tell you about the pin. So. I hope this review helped you. On your journey about 
Is this pen a worthy pen to get or not? Well, let's just put it this way. You can't go wrong with a Conklin All-American. Thank you, my friends, for joining me today. A lot of peace and love your way. Keep them hand washed. And as always, don't text and drive. Bye-bye.